Kawana is pursued by R.K., the crime ring running Kamarucho. Determined to prevent any more deaths, Yagami searches high and low for the handyman, but the search leads to a maze of dead ends. As the situation becomes dire, a lifeline appears at the other end of a phone. The caller offers a lead, one that expires too quick for comfort. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kawana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. Yagami-san, glad you could make it. You're the owner of Siren? Yeah. Let's take this to the bar. Follow me. So, I hear you're a Kamurocho detective. Yeah, and you're a distant relative of Kuana's. Can I ask your name? No need. This will be the only time we meet. But to Kuana-kun, I guess you'd call me his uncle-in-law. <laughs> Everyone's got a dumbass uncle in the family. And that's me. After all, I'm ex-Yakuza. Based in Yokohama? Yeah, the Seriyu clan. After I got out, I looked after the shop for 20 years, till today. You mean Siren, right? What'll happen to it once you've skipped town? <laughs> None of your concern. Fair enough. <laughs> Guess you detective types can't help but ask questions. So you two are related. I noticed you didn't mention Kawana being an alias. Oh. Done your homework, I see. His real name's Kitakata. At least, that's what the Kamurocho thugs call him. You're trying to see if I'll give up his name. That's not why I'm here. Okay. Why did you call me exactly? Well, you see, Kuanakun wanted me to stop by his office and grab something for him. 
Such as? A pack of cigarettes with a lighter inside. Thing is, it was gone by the time I got there. Don't you mean a USB stick made to look like a lighter? Let's not beat around the bush here. See, I figured you'd grabbed it. So of all things, Kawana wanted you to pick this up? Yes. And he prefers to keep that content private. So, if you could just hand that over. Now I'm curious. Care to tell me what's on here? Would you hand it over if I did? No. I'd still need to confirm you told the truth. Can't you tell Guanacoon's backed into a corner here? Asking an old man to help was his only choice. Let's be honest. I couldn't take that thing from you if I wanted to. All I can do is appeal to your sense of decency. Well, I've got to say, that's more persuasive than threats ever would be. But if you really want me to give this up, at least let me see Kawana. I'd consider that, but he's already long gone. He was ready to cut out at the drop of a hat. If that's the case, unfortunately, I'll need to hold on to this. A high school teacher was killed by the thugs that went after Kawana. Her name was Yokosawa, a young woman dedicated to her career. <sighs> I had met her while investigating the murder of a student teacher. But while trying to get her side of the story, I ended up running to Kawana outside her apartment. Do you know anything about this woman? I don't. You're really drawing a blank? You don't know anything about criminals coming all the way from Kamurocho just to get at Kawana? Do you at least know how they're connected to Sawa-sensei? Again, that's a negative. And this flash drive's my only concrete lead? <sighs> if it's so important to Kawana, he should have come himself, rather than send a middleman. <sighs> Don't be so hard on him. I'm the one who taught him all his tricks. Are you saying Kawana's ex-Yakuza too? Nah, he was just your average civvy before all this. But circumstances as they were, he had no choice but to go underground. That's when he came to a gene show and I took him under my wing. I'm the one who suggested the handyman thing. But he took to the underground with real gusto. What do you mean, gusto? I'm not just talking him up. He had good reasons for diving headlong into the shadows. Good reasons? Care to give me one or two? You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. That takes care of everything I have to say. Not sure it's such a good idea for me to just let you leave. Thinking about stopping me? Wouldn't be wise. This joint doesn't take kindly to that behavior. That's why this is the safest place in a gene show, huh? Yep, and I'm glad your face is the last one I'll see in this city. Starving. Pretty tasty, thanks. Arigatogozaimasta.
waste. Yagami. Oh, great. It's Claw Guy. You were with the Luma, right? They say you brought your little posse from Tokyo. You what to trust an outsider. Posse? Wait, don't tell me you think I'm RK. They're not even close to you. Hey, Tesso, you got this all wrong.
Damn it. Come on, man. Who paid you to jump me this time? These Kamrucho douchebags show up, strutting around like they own our city. Then I hear some teacher chick gets killed after a break-in. Fuckers. Someone let him into Ijincho, right? Right? Look, I can see why you're pissed. But you figured coming after me was the answer? Figured I could at least try beating a few out of you. Office visits ain't my style. You've got to appreciate that not everyone plays by gang rules, man. What I don't appreciate is Kamurocho trash. Now why are they here, Yagami? I'd like to find that out myself. But I'll tell you this much, I'm not your enemy. I was first on the scene of that murder. I knew the woman personally. The culprit is RK's leader, a guy named Soma. Shit, you serious? Then why is the rest of his crew here with him? A lot of muscle just to ice one lady. They're after a local handyman, Kiwana. You know him? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. Why they want him so bad. I'm looking into that now. Which is why they're still after me. Not to mention they stabbed my partner. So the more you get in our way, the slower this'll go. Mm. Gotcha. You understand then? How's about I make you the deal of a lifetime? Uh... So long as RK's messing around in my city. I don't mind calling you a brother. Really? Just like that? Sure. But I get to be Aniki, of course. You really think this is selling it? What you're missing here is, the Liumong never target a brother. So now, if anyone lays a finger on you, the Liumong's taking their head. Same rule for all the ladies here in Ijincho. Anyone gets fresh, they become fresh meat. You with me on that, brother? Ah, oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Besides, making you a brother is the only way we save face for getting our asses handed to us, you know? Ah, uh, now the truth comes out. Anyway, let me know if you get any intel on RK. Especially where that chicken shit Soma might be. Just shoot me a location and it's done. We'll give that teacher her peace by torturing you to death. I was just thinking of calling you, Yagamishi. I heard Kaito-san got stabbed at Siren. Is that true, Yagami-san? What the hell happened? Look, I promise I'll fill you in, but right now I really need Tsukumo's help. With what? I found a USB drive at Kawanda's hideout. It was disguised to look like a lighter. We have to know what's on it. So... Kaito-san was attacked by that Soma guy, too. Yeah, while we were chasing Kuwana, Soma popped up and got him right in the gut. Almost got me, too, to be honest. You're saying one guy almost single-handedly took down the Yagami Detective Agency? That's true. And right after, I got a call from Kuwana's purported relative, who wanted me to hand over the flash drive. Apparently, what's on it will tell us Kuwana's true identity and goal. When I open it, all I see is one data file. Of what? It's a video. I'll hit play once you guys are all ready. You good? Damn, what's on there? I can't take the suspense. Let's make it full screen. Come on, Mitsuru. Quit being a little bitch. I told you to take it in the face. Okay, let's do it over again, okay? Suzuki, make sure you're getting this. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna really fucking nail him this time. Mayo. Ready when you are. Okay. Get your ass back. Mitsuru. 
What did I just say about being a bitch? You asked for it. I'm gonna have to punish ya. Punishment! No, no. Punishment! Let's hear the punishment, punishment song, everybody! <laughs> punishment! <laughs> punishment! <laughs> Get ready for... <laughs> Mitsuru Kun Strip Show! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! You little shit, did you just kick me? Huh? It's too late to get tough now, Mitsuru. Please show us what you got. Don't struggle now. We want to see. We gotta get this all on camera. Aw, isn't this just the most pathetic sight? Oh, shit, he's pissing himself! Ew, that's so nasty. Oh, look at this shit. <laughs> These little shits are the worst. One of them said something about Mitsuru Kusumoto stripping? Yeah, he was Sawa Sensei's classmate. Thirteen years ago, he jumped off the roof of Kurokawa Academy. He's Reiko Kusumoto's son, right? Vice Minister of the Health Ministry? Thirty years old and still in a coma. It seems we've stumbled on private video footage of Mitsuru Kusumoto being bullied. And it was on Kuwana-san's secret flash drive? Why would he have this? I don't know. But his uncle said it's our lead to Kiwana's real identity and motivation. Huh. Just a moment. This frame gives us a good look at the key players' faces. Why don't we try gleaning what we can from it? Sounds good. Let's dig in. Suspicious. If I'm not mistaken, Shinya Kawai was the bully whose name got out to the public. Yeah. RK was hunting for him in Kamurocho pretty recently, too. I have no doubt the guy in the picture they showed me is the same guy in this video. Once RK came to the conclusion Kawai had been murdered, they came here to be Jincho, hunting down Kawana for whatever reason. This girl recording the bullying on her cell phone. Someone said her name in the video. Suzuki. There's another familiar face. So it all comes circling back to her, huh? Right. This Suzuki girl has a different name now. Yui Mamiya. The victim in the Ahara harassment case. Suzuki was her last name before getting married. Sawa-sensei also told me that Mitsuru Kusumoto and Mamiya were classmates 13 years ago. Yep. So we're looking at Yui Mamiya in high school. Mamiya-san, huh? What's she like underneath it all? Originally, word got around that Shinya Kawai was the one bullying Mitsuru Kusumoto. After watching this, though, the truth of the matter doesn't quite line up. There were really about 10 bullies involved at the time, and Yui Mamiya was one of them. Yeah. If this video got leaked, Mamiya and the other students in it would be in deep shit. They're living out their lives like nothing happened, despite being the ones who drove a kid into a coma. If word got out, they'd be crucified by the public. Their jobs, their families, their lives would all change for the worse. Huh? What the? This guy's face is familiar somehow. Oh. Uh, I don't think I've seen him. I don't know him either. Who is he? 
I think I remember him. I saw him at the crime scene where Mikoshiba's body was. He was with more Kurokawa grads. He showed his ID to the Kanagawa detective. I think his name was Akaike. That gives us an interesting perspective, doesn't it? All the people in this bullying video seem to keep popping up around our case. Yeah, but the real question is why was Kuwana the one with the video? Suspicious. I feel bad for Mitsuru-kun. No one helped him, even with everything he was going through. Thirteen years ago, his mother was still just some nobody working at the Ministry of Health. She seems to have split with her husband and looks after her son on her own now. I don't know all the details, though. Hey, crazy theory, but what if this husband she left was actually Kuwana-san? And maybe he recorded this to secretly check on his son? No, Kuwana doesn't look like he could have a 30-year-old kid. Let's look for other possibilities. Huh? September 17th, 13 years ago. It's past 4 p.m., so this would be after school. Oh, wait, this is... Got something? I just cross-referenced the date Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped. September 17th. Oh, shit. That can only mean this video was recorded very shortly before his suicide attempt. Hmm. The video may have provided some interesting connections, but we still don't have that crucial link. The link being the reason Kuwana-san came to possess this, of course. Right. Kuwana's either the one who recorded it himself, or is at least a recipient of the video from the original witness. Kuwana-san and Sawa-sensei knew each other somehow, right? Well, then, maybe Sawa-sensei recorded it 13 years ago, and then had Kuwana-san look into it as one of his handyman requests. It's possible, but it just feels off. Why's that? Because of what Siren's owner said to me. Okay. You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both kuwana -kun's past and his purpose. He said we'll know Kuwana's true identity once we watch the video. But that hasn't been the case so far. Yeah. Uh, what identity could we draw from a secret recording of some bullies? Assuming Kuan is in his early 40s, he would have been about 30, 13 years ago. What if he was a school teacher of the students in the video? In that case, we should consult the yearbook Segura she brought back. The one that was in Sawa Sensei's room? You still have yet to look through it. That's right. Uh, let me go get it. The way you're talking, I assume you've already taken a peek? We have, but unfortunately we didn't find Kawana-san's face among the teachers. This is the page for Mitsuru Kusumoto's class. Both Sawa-sensei and Mami are there too. So the homeroom teacher was... this guy. Apparently he witnessed bullies harassing Mitsuru multiple times. Yet he would overlook it. All he did was smile and tell them not to overdo it. It's not Kuana. This is someone else. We checked the rest of the teachers too, but never spotted Kuana-san. Mitsuru Kusumoto. This picture doesn't look like it was shot for a yearbook. Correct. 
He was most likely already in a coma when photo time rolled around. Sawa-sensei isn't smiling at all in this. Huh. She did mention she blew off her class reunion. In fact, she hadn't kept in touch with her classmates at all. No surprise there. Mitsuru-kun would be bound to come up at some point. This is Yui Suzuki. She's definitely one of the girls in the video. Yet another classmate involved with Mitsuru Kusumoto. Seems like a bunch of the students on this page were in the video, huh? Yeah, but... I can't find Shinya Kawai in here. Oh... Yeah, you're right. He's not in there. If I'm not mistaken, Kawai left the school once he started catching flack for being Mitsuru-kun's bully. At least, that's what I read online. No real evidence yet, but it definitely sounds like how it would have played out. But the truth is, there were more bullies who should have seen consequences besides Kawai. part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it, but all he said was, don't overdo it. But afterward, the public eviscerated him. He had to quit his teaching job. Hold on. If he was dismissed... You figure something out? The homeroom teacher at the time of the incident did take some flack. He got forced out of teaching. Yeah, what of it? If that's the case, couldn't this teacher in the yearbook just be filling in for the other one? I see. That definitely sounds likely. Let me search for the original teacher's name. There's a chance he won't be the same guy in the yearbook. Just give me a sec. Uh-huh. Yagamishi, I found it. The name of Mitsuru Kusumoto's former homeroom teacher. You were right. It wasn't the same teacher in the yearbook. This one's name is Yu Kitakata. Kitakata? Huh? Don't tell me that's... His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? That's Kawana's real name. Soma said it to me once. So, Kawana-san was the original homeroom teacher? I just found a picture. This is Kitakata-sensei from 13 years ago. It's Kawana. That's him, all right. Yeah. Not only that, Sawa-sensei was part of this class, which makes Kawana her homeroom teacher, too. This is the link we've been looking for. Everything is clicked into place. Kawana-san was the linchpin of this case. So, 13 years ago, Yuki Takata left teaching behind after Mitsuru-kun's incident and became Kawana the handyman. That's what made him turn to his uncle at Siren for help. He told me Kawana tried really hard to make it in the underground, had some good reason for it. For living a life in the shadows? What could that have been? get revenge on the bullies. Maybe Kawana blames the fact that he had to quit teaching on the bullies who caused it to happen. Then, maybe all his hatred got aimed at Shinya Kawai? Possible. He was abducted five years ago by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. Huh. You think one of them was Kawana-san? I wouldn't rule it out. RK might have learned of Kawana's involvement while searching for Kawai. Maybe they came to a gene show so they could get details on the incident from him? Yes, that would explain RK's arrival in town as well. Wh Hold up. Individuals who were his acquaintances? Meaning more people besides Kuwana-san, right? Could that mean... You got it.
We already know this. Oh. The students in the video? Individuals acquainted with Kawhi. They certainly fit the bill. But why would they wind up abducting him? Huh. Maybe what makes you say that? Well, Kawana had this on a secret flash drive, right? But to anyone in this video, it would be their worst nightmare for it to show up now. If it did, it'd be busted as bullies who drove a high school kid to suicide. Yep, it'd be a real disaster for them if that got out. They'd probably be done for in the public eye. Which means this video is Kawana's leverage. It's how he got them to go after Kawhi. <sighs> you think this is enough leverage to drive people to murder, though? Kawhi was killed, right? RK is the only one saying Kawhi was murdered. No body's been recovered yet, either. Okay, hang on. I'm barely keeping up with this. Yeah, it's a bunch of what-ifs stacked on top of each other. But there is somebody who could potentially confirm this. Who'd that be? Someone in the video. Mamiya, for example. I've met with her at her home. If she was involved with Kawhi's abduction, she could probably tell us what we want to know. I agree. Yagami Shi's provided a working theory that ties together the Kamurocho and Injincho incidents. So if we can get Yui Mamiya to corroborate this, we should be able to extract even more information from her. Perhaps even including Kawana-san's whereabouts. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't given us the slip just yet. Man, what the hell is that guy's deal? Mikoshiba and Sawa Sensei's murders, Ahara's alibi, Kawai's disappearance. Kawan is most likely tied to everything. We'll get all the answers we need if we can find him. And I guess this is bringing us that much closer? <laughs> Hopefully. I should go see Yui Mamiya tomorrow. You should accompany him, Sugiyoroshi. Considering we seem to be kicking the investigation into high gear, with Kaito-san out of commission, I'm sure Yagami-shi could use a helping hand. I'll be fine right here. Your call, Tsukumo-kun. I'm cool with whatever. Thanks for lending him out, Tsukumo. I'll make sure he comes back in one piece. Hey, don't underestimate him as a party member. He can hold his own if you let him. <laughs>